It is time to become oof, the a, a, something. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just—it's just real weird right now. Um, yeah. Saw this on Steam. Uh, it was only fifteen dollars. So I. Uh, about to say, is there any way to, <laughs> let's just do that, full screen, yes, oh, we want ambience to be, we want a lot of, oh, can't, we can't do a lot of ambience, sorry guys, okay, um, I guess we should, uh, we should start a new, a new game, Hello. <laughs> this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? No, I don't, but I'm gonna have to because I'm also easily disturbed. Ooh, this is... Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That walk was brutal, but the cabin is amazing. I like its music. A full kitchen, running water, it really has everything. Oh, you look, you look like a bear. I like you. You look cuddly. Fi he has a chipmunk or something on him. Finally, a place I can read a good book in peace. I can't wait to... Ta! Ah! Achoo! <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. It must be the dust. Get those allergies under control, Maria. Oh, oh, we have a Karen. Oh no, it's gonna get bad in here. Gregor, don't worry guys. I'm sure with a little elbow grease, we can make this cabin shine. That was my elbow. Ow, just slapped it really hard on it. Um, so are you volunteering to clean, Gregor? No, no, <laughs> this cabin's not gonna be clean at all. Not many supplies here. Guess we'll have to go out to get what we need. <laughs> it's like the sprout is coming from the back. Of There's a fireplace for making stew, so let's gather up some firewood, okay? How do you, sp how do you say his name? An 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 Anatoly? Anato Anatoly? A I think it's Anatoly. Okay, so Gregor Anatoly. So sorry if I'm butchering that name. Anatoly Munchkin. Munchkin. I don't know. Chipmunk looking thing. I was trying to remember that animal that. I don't know what animal I'm trying to remember. Oh god! It's the. It, like, the, the, the long ears are throwing me off. Uh, so Aunt Antoli, Mar Maria, and then Karen. Leave that to me, little guy. He just called you little guy. Ah. I'll tidy up around the cabin. Need to save Maria from dying due to this dust. <laughs> hey. Where's her name? Allergies are nothing to joke about, Karen. Yeah, Karen. Yeah. I have allergies too, but nothing to joke about, Karen. She's not dead yet, Pip Squeak. Calm down. Man, you dogging on everyone. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> God. Anna. A. A. Anna. Anna Tolly. Thanks, Anna Tolly. Anna Roly Poly. <laughs> that was weird. I'm sorry for that. I think I'll go foraging outside with over four. 450 mosses, 900 fungi, and 70 slime molds. 
is bound to be treasure. <laughs> oh my man, he's got he's got some weird priorities. Roughing it is fun, and totally knows so much about edible foods. We're in good hands. I think the slime mold will be the most delicious. Our slime, our slime Okay, I was about to say, are slime molds edible? I don't think so. Most certainly not. What about the fungi? Do you even know which ones are poisonous, Anatoly? A Anatoly? God, I can't... I, uh, I could figure that out. You can be the canary in the coal mine, Anatoly. Bitch, Karen. I'm not ending up a corpse here. So I'm not. Right? <laughs> Keep both eyes open, little guy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. They're gonna come for that little munchkin. They won't be a problem. I read up on ten different techniques to inc- Oh my- Oh my god, my man. To incont- Uh- <laughs> In ah in in a in a, in a catap catapitate in in a in a god in contact <laughs> in I'm saying this thing wrong incapacitate oh my god. Incapacitate them. Incapacitate them. Number one is uh, Anatoly. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Maria. Got carried away again. Ha ha. I'll help Anatoly look for food. I'm definitely better at warding off wild animals. Ooh, she's the strong one in this relationship. She wears the pants. Even though she's not wearing any right now. If we come up empty handed, we can always eat some of the food we've brought. You mean the emergency rations? Bad idea, chump. Hey, Anatoly and Maria are getting the food. Gregor is, gra is gathering the firewood. That makes you our designated chef. Oh, you're talking to me. Hello. I am chef. I am the new cooking mama. Everyone's looking at you expectantly. You nod. Yep, I cook. <laughs> Maybe not well. Very excited to try your cooking. All right, everyone, let's go to work while there's still sunlight. Later. <laughs> oh God, I'm left with a bitch. Maria. Mar Mar yeah, Maria. I almost said Maria. Mar Maria. I'm doubting myself on the names. Anatoly, you've really messed me up. Anatoly. <laughs> Gregor. The three exit the cabin, leaving you and Karen alone. I think Anatoly put the supplies in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. I, I, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> you kind of sprung it upon me. Uh, to save the game, right-click or hit the escape button on your keyboard to pull up the menu. Oh! Neat! So I can s My mouse is acting weird. Okay. That's pretty. That's swell. This menu will also allow you to adjust volume levels or exit to the title screen to view unlockables. There's unlockables? Un 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 unlockables? Un unlock up. <laughs> Please note, going back to the main menu or exiting the game without saving will remove progress you've made. Be sure to save. Do you have any experience making meals? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> great. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Butter them up? Of course, probably not. I'm extremely lazy. Saying that. Um. Oh. Yeah, I'm a. I'm a five-star chef. Oh no, she's doubting me. Is that so? 
Hmm. Looking at you, I think you'd be good at serving up food poisoning. Oh, you! How dare you say that to me? You'll be getting the food poisoning. Right? It looks like Karen. <laughs> Good! I hope she remembers my words of spite! Anyways, going to check out the living room. Let's talk later. Oh, I just wanna- I wanna hit her over the head, whatever this is. Uh, um, I know that's lavender. I don't know what that is. Is that asparagus? That's green onion, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. I'm really good at baking. I'm not good at cooking. So we all gonna be going into diabetes soon, because I can only bake. Uh, Karen heads to the living room and starts dusting a little bit. You decide to look around the kitchen to find the ingredients for the meal tonight. Tutorial, you never know what you'll find around the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by searching an area more than once. Why not give it a try? What area do you want to search first? Oh, that's cool. This is definitely Doki Doki. Literature club vibes. Um, let's let's check the cupboards. The first few cupboards are empty. Anatoly must have put the supplies somewhere else. Right, check the cupboard boards again. Check the cupboard boards again. Just some mouse turds and cobwebs. What if I do it again? <laughs> check the cupboard board underneath the sink. Oh, I found something. Well, if that ain't dinner tonight, I don't know what is. This would be a great gift to give you. <laughs> you added the dead mouse to your inventory. <laughs> you put the dead mouse. Karen's not ready for- th No, I want the dead mouse. You notice the letter L engraved to the side of the cupboard. What a fitting gravestone for the mouse. Oh, is that it? Oh, I should have kept the mouse. <laughs> Damn it. There's nothing but cobwebs back here. Thankfully, no spiders. Oh, we're about to see a spider, aren't we? You look at the lo wood logs closer. Oh, this is just a pile of Norway spruce. How do you know this? The Norway spruce won't burn as hot as logs from an oak tree. These would be useless during snowfall. Well, thank God that there's not a snowfall. You reconsider your views on Norway spruce. Hmm. It's less dense and won't fill the cabin with heavy smoke. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe the Norse. I don't, I don't remember what it was called. Maybe that wood won't be too terribly bad. Huh. Maybe we judged the wood a little too early. Like some other people. Nah, Karen's a bitch. Okay. Uh, the drawers. You check the drawers on the left. Just some dirty knives. You check the drawers above the mouse hole. Some kind of mold is growing in this one. Maybe Karen will find it appetizing. Like the dead mouse? With the letter L engraved on it, which I don't know why. Uh, you check the drawer above the wood pile. <gasps> Something is making it difficult to open. Oh, is it locked? You pull it open with all your might. That's not a lot of might. Oh. Wee cabbage. <laughs> the fuck is it? Wee cabins! It's time! Chompettes! Sound off! Onion! Oh god. Never fear! Onion is here! Run. Oh shit, fuck! Go! Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion! Yes, babe! Oh 
always marry raspberry. Cabbage, <laughs> come on, potato. <laughs> you gotta do something. I can. Potato. <laughs> Cabbage stuffed me into this drawer. I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping. <laughs> We're in the chompettes. <laughs> Why talk with those boring humans? All they have to give you is drama. Come chat with us instead. We'll share valuable wet recipes you can cook. We'll share with you our secret chocolate recipes. Collect them all to become a five-star chef. Where you can find unlocked recipes in the main menu under extra. So be sure to save the game. To celebrate, here's your first recipe card. Cabin. Roasted eggplant with, se with sesame and pomegranate. Meat free. You unlocked your first recipe. Oh, yeah. If you ever want to talk, just come to the drawer. Chomp it. Uh -huh. Let's move out. Poor potato, man. Man, poor potato. Cabbage rudely slams the drawer closed. You wonder if what you just saw was real. You're slightly worried about what this means for your mental state. But only slightly. Maybe a little bit less than slightly. Maybe barely. Oh, it's you. Hey. Did you find the supplies? You shake your head. And I totally lied. He actually put them in the bedroom. Idiots. Here you go. You got the emergency supplies. And she just disappears. Karen leaves you alone. You start a fire with some of the wood and get to work on cooking dinner. Chop, chop, chop. Tonight's entree, vegetable stew. Meat free. Just like cabbage wanted. In a large saucepan over medium heat. Oh, so is this like an actual? I need to write this down. <laughs> This may help me in the actual kitchen. Where is... Hold on. Okay. 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 Medium heat. A large saucepan. A water, potatoes, carrot, and celeries. Can you make this in the microwave? Because I don't have a stove currently. I have a microwave. And I have a fridge. And I have a Keurig. That's where I can get the hot water from. <gasps> Guys, I'm gonna make vegetable soup. Vegetable stew, sorry. I'm gonna make vegetable stew. And I'll let y'all guys know how it tastes. I'm gonna make it with, with a cure egg, a microwave, and probably, I think all I have is plastic knives. <laughs> so, I will do my best. Uh, 15 minutes later, you drain the pan and set the vegetables aside. Placing some butter in the saucepan, you melt it over medium heat. Throw in some chopped onions in, you cook it about 10 minutes. The onions are tender and translucent. Perfect. What did I say? I'm cooking mama. I'm a cooking mama. I'm the cooking mama. Uh, you net mix in flour, salt, pepper, and heavy cream into the saucepan, adding the vegetables to the mixture. Hours pass. Oh god, does this take hours? Maybe I can't actually make the vegetables do right. That ten minutes kind of had me worried for a second. Oh, it's dark. Not dark. We're back! More firewood than you'll ever need. I don't know. We got a pretty, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice, uh, stack of, uh, that north, 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 north wood, north wood. I don't know, but apparently it, it's better than oak. And so, if you got oak, you're dead to me. 
We found some wild sorrel. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty. Sorrel. Sorrel. Anatoly's bur uh, burying the lead. We saw a red deer. Oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> Maria spotted it. It's not like we can kill it. <laughs> Any of y'all have a weapon? Oh, God. It's her. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Anyways. Killed 17 spiders today while you were out looking at deer. Yeah! That should come as no surprise. There's over 160 species of spiders here. Anime glint of glasses. I'm trying to do that right now. It's not looking. Ow. I just stabbed myself in the eye with my glasses. Uh, uh, 160? <laughs> Don't worry, Maria. I'm sure I'm sure they were all in the bathroom or something. <laughs> no. Almost all of them were near the couch. <laughs> I was going to sleep on the couch. That's where 16 of them were. I'm not sleeping on that couch then. And there's only two beds in the bedroom. Don't sweat it, Maria. I can sleep anywhere, so I'll sleep in the rocking chair. I'll sleep with one eye open, just in case one of them swarm the couch. Any of them swarm the couch. Thanks, Gregor. Karen and Anatoly, you take the bedroom. Where am I, where, where am I gonna sleep? Thanks, big guy. Joke's on you, Gregor. I always planned on taking one of the beds. She's a bitch. She's a She's a bitch. Words. Hate me. I hate them because they have left me for so long. Hey, Anatoly. I snore louder than a lumber yard. Ugh. Sweet dreams, chump. You turn back to your bubbling vegetable stew and try a bite. And then you just die from your Oh, that looks cool. Oh, now I'm hungry. Wait, where did the peas come from? There were no peas in- There's- Yeah! There's no peas on the, on the recipe I wrote down. See, I have medium heat, large saucepan, water, carrots, and celery. There's no peas. There's- there's no- there's no peas on here. Wait a minute. No, there's... Did I? Okay, never mind. No peas. Those shouldn't be there. This tastes pretty good. You cooked vegetable stew! You settled the table and asked everyone to dig in. Dig in, everyone. <laughs> Aww, bitch. Aww, look at her. She's adorable and you're Aww, I you. I'm not a big fan of you, but you know, I could get there. You're just a bitch. I hate you. Oh, wow. This smells delicious. Thank you. You must be a world-class chef. Karen takes a bite. She's blushing. Did you fall madly in love with me already, Karen? Mm hmm? Fuck you! <laughs> Karen! Tastes like every other vegetable stew I've ever had. So generic. He's winking. That's a lie and I know it, you bitch probably use some meat next time. I, I don't know, those vegetables were, were really demanding that I don't use meat. They were very scary. Gross. For a side dish, we would bake some bread and utilize the Fregaria Vesca. Also, just say strawberries. Just, just, there's no need for that. Just say strawberries. Nobody cares, Pipsqueak. Nobody cares about you, Karen. 
Okay, here's my here's my list. So Maria and Gregor are like up there at the top, and then it's An An Anatoly, and then uh, and then it's Potato, and then it's the rest of the of the um the the vegetables, and then the dead rat and the fungi that was growing in that drawer is like after them and then and then the wood stat and then karen is he like she's not even on the list i she's no she's not even on the list she doesn't deserve that everyone laughs at karen's polite ribbing no nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends and karen friends plus Karen. <laughs> this could very well be the best day you've ever had. Yay! You go to bed stuffed. Day. This is here. Day what? What is was ticking? I feel afraid. But why? Hey! You up? How'd you sleep? I was so warm last night, I didn't even need a blanket. Then could you lay on top of me? <laughs> ah, sorry. And it was- oh god, she seems- oh god. What time is it? About one hour until dawn. Oh, she pissed. Will you two pipe down? I'm trying to sleep over here. <laughs> okay. Is that convincing? Even it was really on. Gregor, the birds outside aren't making much noise yet. We didn't bring many supplies, remember? Better to get a head start on gathering food. I honestly can't see the trees outside right now. Gregor, did you see any spiders last night? There was a small one in the bathroom. <laughs> Actually, I did see a centipede by the sink. Maria turns a little pale. Karen's messing with you, Maria. Let's find more than wild sorrel today. <laughs> if you're lucky, little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to ca catch some wild brown trout. What's with you and meat, big guy? Oh, it's like, big guy, little guy. Big guy, little guy, baby, bitch. An Anatoly's herbalism book stated that there's many more species of plants to eat out there. Let's leave the fish alone. You know, I'm not, uh, into meat. That's a shame. I'd wake up early to go fishing. Cheer up, Karen. We'll get to observe the trout, at the very least. Maybe we'll see more red deer today, too. I don't know why I put the two. <laughs> hmm. This sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. <laughs> Maybe we'll find some blackthorn berries. I love blackthorn berries. <laughs> we'll be back later. Can you watch our stuff today? You nod. Thank you. Thanks. Here. Don't steal anything, okay? You nod. Wait, they're just gonna leave me? Oh my god, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just there. To... There's a mouse hole. Right what is that? Is that a walking stick? That is like. Maria, Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen leave the cabin with a hop to their step. You're alone, but thankfully you have a drawer of trumpets to keep you company. Tutorial. Each day you'll be asked to explore a different part of the cabin. You only get one chance, then the day will end. Choose wisely. Oh god. What do you want to check out today? Um... Let's 
not that shit. Let's check out the bedroom. That's not like... That's... Interesting. Karen and Anatoly kept the room pretty clean. Only one of them made their bed. Who still makes their bed? Exactly! Who makes their bed in the morning? You're just gonna get into it at night. You look underneath one of them. Huh? You found some extra emergency supplies. I don't know where I did that. You decide to look through them and start planning your next meal. Wow. But you looked at emergency. We're back! <laughs> Knock it off, Maria. It's pretty weird to be scared of one. It, it's not! <laughs> Who knew the big guy would be so scared of? S S Shut up! You don't understand. I don't think anyone understands, Gregor. It was just a marmot, Gregor, not a monster. Maria laughs so hard that your ears ring. <laughs> I can't do that. I probably barely got the neighbors up. Oh god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tears are rolling down Maria's cheeks. She's laughing so hard that she's about to hyperventilate. Maybe we should stop her. Stop Maria from hyperventilating? I'm guessing no. Absolutely not. <laughs> One less mouth. <laughs> God. Shit. You don't get it. It's pretty personal. Then please explain, big guy. I, uh... Gregor looks incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> Let's leave him alone. We found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. Quite the selection of berries. We also found more wild sorrel. Is that going to be enough for a good meal? Everyone is looking at you for an answer. You decide to do an inventory of all available ingredients. It takes you a while, but you decide on your specialty. Cabbage rolls! You first- oh. I need to write this down again. You first bring a large pot of water to a boil. Let the cabbage leaves boil for two minutes. Drain the pot into the sink. In a medium mixing bowl, you combine some cooked rice, onion, an egg, salt, and pepper, along with some tomato sauce. You use your hands to mix thoroughly, and decide to wash your hands after it won't come off. Hopefully you washed your hands before it failed. Dividing the rice measure evenly between the cabbage leaves, you then roll them up and tie a string around them so they stay in one piece. You place the cabbage rolls in a large skillet over medium heat, pouring the rest of the tomato mixture over the top. Covering it, you bring it to a boil. You reduce the heat to low and let the cabbage rolls simmer for about 40 minutes, being sure to baste it with liquid. Damn, this is full on. That's, oh god, that actually looks really good. Oh, now I'm hungry. You cooked cabbage rolls. Maria looks optimistic. Karen looks skeptical. Fuck you, Karen. Anatoly looks curious. Gregor looks thrilled. You watched intently as everyone takes their the first bite. Oh, I don't like them staring at me. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. Wow. I could eat the whole batch myself. I think the vegetable stew tasted better, but I'm loving how tender the cabbage is. The sauce is pretty red. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? It really adds to it. Spoon some of the liquid on top of it. You'll thank me later. Incredible. It's definitely growing on me. Thanks again for cooking. This really was something special. Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you to do. I'm just- I'm just a servant for them. Not happening. You settle in and go to bed. Everyone goes to bed for you. <laughs> I was about to say. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not cleaning their own dishes for them. 
Tomorrow will be another great day. Hello! What, what are they doing? Good morning, everyone! Oh, so it's dead. Yeah. Again, Gregor? Can't you let us sleep in? Not today! Why? Storm clouds are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? I thought we used most of the supplies for last night's dinner. He's right. The meal you made was delicious, but it used a lot of what we had. Gregor's also correct. Precipitation is unusually high in this area, with many areas being high risk for flooding. It'd be foolish to not go out and look for food today. You're really thinking it will flood? Thankfully, the cabin is on high ground, but that doesn't mean we're safe from floodwaters. It's always a possibility, so it can't hurt to be prepared. You're losing it, Gregor. Karen, there's nothing to worry about. I think Gregor's right, Karen. Huh? It won't hurt to prepare for the worst. <laughs> I think she's right, Karen. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. That is holy. Let's go out and prepare for the storm. Foraging should be a key priority today. There are plenty of edible foods and it has better odds than trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes and I'll plot, our, I'll plot out our route on some paper. Let me help, little guy. dancing, sorry. Anatoly and Gregor head to the bedroom to, con to consult the map. Mariah and Karen are still hanging around. Tutorial. Unfortunately, in life, you can't make everyone happy. When given a choice to speak to a character, choose wisely. You can only select one of them. Try to match out your bond with certain characters for unique dialogue and scenarios. Which one would you like to talk to? Fuck her, no. Mariah. Maria. Mariah. Is it Mariah or is it Maria? It's Mariah. Have I been saying Maria? Oh crap. Mariah is paging through is paging through some of the books on the bookshelf. You walk over to her. There's some great books here. Which one is your favorite? Ooh. 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 <clears throat> <clears throat> the uh The crafting one. Oh, me too. Meta, meta, <laughs> what is that? Metalurgy is so interesting. What is that? Oh, oh, Aloy talk. Okay. I don't like that. I haven't seen one like that before. Anyway, great choice. You think Mariah will remember that? Your relationship is stronger. Yes. Yes. I will date you. I don't know if that's available. Wait, are you able to date the... Can you... Can you hook up with... With the cabbage people things? The cabets? I can't remember. Let's talk again later, okay? You start to blush a little bit. You hear a cheer from the other room. Sounds like the two are wrapping up their meeting. Karen, bitch. I'm gonna talk to you. You're not worth my time. Gregor and Anatoly come back from their meeting. Gregor is blushing slightly. What the fuck did you do to him, Anatoly? Hey. Can you cook something while we're out? You nod. Thank you. Alright, everyone. We have a route to now. Let's beat those rain clouds. The group leaves, determined as ever.
you have the cabin all to yourself. What's that noise? Looks like it's coming from the kitchen. Huh? Radio? What's going on with the radio? You didn't even notice it was on the ground when you walked in. Did somebody leave this video here? It looks newer than anything we've seen before. Seems to be broken. Better hold on to this. You got the strange radio. Before you cook dinner, what should you check out? Hmm. Should I, uh... Let, let's call... Let, you have nothing better to do, so you decide to call, talk to the chompettes. Chompettes, that's what it's called. Hello! Good to see you again. Onion! Thought you abandoned us. Oh, what the heck did I just do? <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, that's cool. You you can let can you you can go Hello. backwards. Hello. <laughs> Good to Onion. see you again. Thought you abandoned us. Why are you trying to fool them? Go ahead and make those meals you enjoy so much. Raspberry. No thanks! That vegetable stew? Gross! You already stunk up the cabin last night. Spare us a repeat. Onion! It almost smelled as bad as you, stinky. Almost. Are you going to give them the recipe, Onion? Boy, boy. I guess. Hey, ever notice those four humans don't give you any recipes? Boy, boy. Those monsters. That's why you should spend more time with us. Boy, boy. Right? Of course. I have the perfect recipe for you today. Boy, 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 boy. It will make the kitchen smell nice afterwards. And it will impress dinner guests. You received the... How do you spell that? How do you say that? Borchette? Recipe? Boy, boy. Don't burn down the cabin making it, okay? You nod. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Chompettes? Ah. Mosey out! You shut the drawer and wait for the others to return back. What the hell is up with them? Mariah's back early today. Oh god. Hey. The others are still looking for food outside. Anatoly found some more berries. But nothing that will feed all of us. Please, don't tell the others. But I'm a little worried about our supplies. I crunched the numbers and we don't have enough food. Even with rationing to last if there's a big storm and we get stuck here. Mariah seems disappointed in your inventory management. Can you try cooking with a little less this evening? You nod. Thank you. Oh god, what's that face? Thank you. You've done such a great job with Mel so far. You're... You're very sweet. Is Mariah blushing a little? Ooh, young love. <laughs> Mariah will remember that. Remember what? What did I do? Maybe you can teach me to cook sometimes. You nod. Looking forward to it. Hey, you could hold cooking classes here someday. Rudely interrupting a tender moment, the others burst into the cabin. Hello. We could eat that thing. Don't be so down, everyone. We got tons of good berries. Jam is so bland without any sugar. Do you have any sugar? You shake your head sadly. Yikes. Turn that frown upside down, Karen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Possibly death. Who knows? Let's kill Karen first. I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Eh, um, you missed out. 
the sunset was really tremendous on our way back. Hues of orange, red, even a little purple poking out. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. So, we can't expect a sailor's de delight tomorrow? That's awesome. You're such an optimist, big guy. We must have walked a few miles today. Gorgeous sights. You should even see snow on tips of the mountain. I'm hungry. That rumble sounded like a dying calf. That was me. You looked from person to person, trying to determine who it was. It was definitely Maria. Maria! I'd recognize that sound from anywhere. <laughs> Guilty. Maria looks embarrassed, but the group laughs at her honesty. Except for you. You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. <clears> How <throat> I just hit my knee. <clears throat> Those who have it do not want it. Those who have it least succeed. Those who have it for too long perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? Hmm. Dust? Try again, big guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. Mariah's face lights up. I got it! Is it hunger? Congrats. I thought it was fire. I don't know why. Yeah, I was going to guess that. So, uh, what's on the menu tonight, chef? Bread and jam. You crush the berries in your small mortar and pestle, spreading it on some crust of bread. Ta-da! You cooked raspberry jam and bread. <laughs> Not really cooked. The bread's a little tough. Gregor, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. But this homemade jam is to die for. <laughs> I'm starving. Sorry. No, you're right, Gregor. This bread stinks. Mariah! Everybody laughs. You're not sure this could be called a meal, but it got the job done. Everyone thanks you for dinner and heads off to sleep. You go to bed wishing you had more. You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back. And it's becoming a new shit. <laughs> oh god, damn it. And it's becoming a nuisance. You try to see it with the mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. You try almost everything, but it won't get off. The pain between your so shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by a river to soak your pain in cool water. You didn't want Banks to come to this, but you've exhausted all other options. You swim out to the middle. Rocks on the bottom cut your feet. You slip and fall to your knees. You lean back, trying to submerge the thing underneath the waters. But it won't drown. It won't drown. It won't drown. You splash frantically, plunging your head beneath the water. The current takes you downstream. You try swimming, swimming to the shore. <laughs> But it's no use. Water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. As you gaze up at the sky, you feel it leaving your back, drifting to the sky as you sink to the bottom. As you take the last cast, 
you see what was on your back staring into your eyes. But you don't even have the air in your lungs to scream. You wake in a cold sweat. Oh, fuck, what was that? Holy hell, what? my face <laughs> maybe not the blushing but definitely the, the the eyes and the mouth okay i'm gonna end it th there um wow that a that actually scared me um that i'm gonna yeah let's over i that wow Cabbage so much. I love potato more though. Potato is just oh, uh, it's just so me. I guess I don't know. This lady doesn't <laughs> this doesn't speak. Um, but yeah. So this was Cooking Companions. Um, I hope that you all. She got a knife. I don't like that. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that you know, you'll, you'll come back and see the other ones in the series that I will be creating. Uh, if you did enjoy, uh, you know, you can leave a like, a comment, you can even subscribe. You don't have to. I do this for fun. Uh, I just like to put stuff out for people to watch if they choose. Uh, yeah, uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day, night, evening, Lunch time, breakfast time, dinner time. Don't watch this at, I don't know. It's 8.16 right now, so it's not really a good time for me to say don't watch this. Because this is kind of like the perfect time to watch it. It's not too dark. You, you know, you still got a few hours until bed. So it's not like you'll have nightmares. Also, you know, if you have dreams of this, uh, dreams of this game, who knows?